Hello everyone, my name is Casting Master 7 and today we are playing Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk outside of It's a horror game that uh, I've played a couple years back and I wanted to replay it and see how good it was. I literally don't remember anything. So, hopefully this should be good. Uh, it just starts, by the way. So, I'm not I'm not touching anything right now. Save menu and full screen. I'm just sitting here. I'm just, I'm just letting this play. All, all I remember is this game is very weird. What do you see? I mean, maybe I should be reading that. Are you sure? Milk outside a bag of milk, outside a bag of milk, outside a bag of milk. So, yeah, this is the game that we're playing. We're gonna have a good time, we're gonna have a fun time. I gotta lower the volume a little bit. Okay. Click new game. Let's get going. I gotta. I'm gonna let this play real quick. Okay, sorry. I'm walking, to, oh yeah, this has a lot of reading. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Okay. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose your or lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a jo joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Yes, mom. Yeah, it's just gonna be weird. This is gonna be a weird game. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing, mocking. Haha, <laughs> that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... I don't know, the, the 
this person got skids on. I gotta... I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? No, I don't get it. I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away the annoying pursuers. Then, I suddenly realized I would not be able to stop in time. I got no other choice but to break the door. Now. If there's someone inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Shit. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today. Ugh. Sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Ugh. A bag of milk? Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in the store or on a table in my mom's kitchen. No, probably not. On the other hand, no one, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world into that scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I guess that's true. When you buy something from a store, you're taking it away from its home. Actually, wait, that's not, never mind. I turn, I, I turn her away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. I'm so happy I can read. <laughs> I meet a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip. That stops me from moving. And I just I don't know what's happening. This is just I don't know. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp, with a blade. Again, I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hand until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black canvases where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promise so many times, stay put. <laughs> the moment it says that, its claws pierce my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung snuits. But then, <laughs> then the claw injects its venom into me. Oh God, right as I compliment myself, like, a good job of reading. It hurts. A white vein appears in front of my eye. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. Or fanatically. Whatever. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor. Just like last time. But why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body paralyzing every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. Ugh. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> what is 
<laughs> what is happening? Historical screams resound throughout the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need. A new wave of pain washes over. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. <laughs> I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Come on, man. Milk is pretty good. I like milk. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't leave me anxious at all. That's good. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. Oh, oh, I don't think I skipped it. I think I just fast forwarded it. And there was a time I might <laughs> God damn it. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I love anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world will clash. And you sleeping is pretty cool. I woke up for that moment's sake live through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would be so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slip away. As if someone f fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another. Until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. I mean, sleep all you want, I guess. I don't know. Sleeping's pretty cool. That's a lot of medicine. After f finishing my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Huh. Now I want to have a better look at it. I just pour it between my fingers to chew on it. Ugh, chewing on a pill sucks. It's nasty. I'll do anything to stall it just for a little bit more time. A smooth, protrude red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. Or contents. So, what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be a soft and squishy. Oh, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and then the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. What am I reading? Like, I, I don't remember it, like going like this. The pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next, there was a flat pill of the same red lead color. There were some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> the pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Uh, hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. 
hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I don't, I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away, but not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm, and she's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. I don't want to disturb her without a reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. This guy, me, hello, hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Don't tell me it crashed. Oh, that scared me for a second. I just clicked every save game. Okay, that scared me for a second. I, I, I <laughs> okay, I just clicked hey. We in. Now this is what I remember. Hey, long time no see. What the fuck? It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wanna be nice. Uh, this sounds like the nicest option. Why does your voice sound so grim? Sorry. Naturally, I've read the manual, judging by the pictures. The overdose side effects are the usual headaches, dizziness, exhaustion. Basically, nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do that. He didn't reply. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? For what? Wait, I, I, I like blanked out. <laughs> For her, oh, is it when she was mixing her pills? I don't, no, I, I don't like that. I don't think someone should be mixing. Well then, I'm not happy either. Okay, well, don't mix your pills. <laughs> you need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, all right? You think about it, this is kind of fucked up. I'll just stay silent until the medicine effects wear off. How about that? This is like the opposite of like those like schizophrenia memes where it's like as long as I don't take my pill, she stays here with me. Like, and now she takes a pill to have someone to talk to. This is so weird. I'll just stay silent until the medicine effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. I need you to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bull. I don't got I, I can't, I don't have any other options. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything, and you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. Huh, <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah, I'm all besides myself, what made, me, what made you so happy all of a sudden, Lee? This like sounds like a sarcastic response, but it makes no sense. By the way, you're the one that's useless and pathetic. Jesus, I don't want to say this stuff to her. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, all right? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. Well, see? Well, oh, we'll see, yeah. I... Am 
Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Oh, crying. Hey, at least I tried. Mm. Sorry, I'm drinking water. A lot of talking making me thirsty. We back to the bed. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks that the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. But then, me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile bears her teeth at me. Did I read that right? I don't know. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. Oh no, it's just... It makes no sense. I started counting in my mind. Two square. Two by two square. A square square. A square pyramid square. A pure... Pure metal structure cube, a pure metal structure hypercube. I feel better. Okay. <laughs> but my head is splitting apart now. Ooh. How do you feel? Sorry for being rude. Yeah, sorry. It's not your fault. You just look pretty dead inside. It's never your fault. Fine, you can keep blaming it. You can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something after all. I was able to buy milk, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know how challenging it was. <sighs> I'm proud of you. I went to the grocery store and bought some milk in a bag. That's an accomplishment in its own, right? Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly, undoubtedly, whatever it was, it was your decision. I mean, I guess it was pretty stupid. But you are your own person. And maybe you shouldn't listen to the voices in your head. Does it even matter? Yes. Somehow I find it hard to believe. Then why did you do that? I feel like I'll be able to fight it on my own. It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at that time. But now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. You know what to do. Ejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind so draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of covalent... What? Covalated blood and transparent coating traveled down my esophagus, scratching its soft balls, leaving behind furrows. <sighs> I can't read for shit. <laughs> I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill in the air and catch it with my mouth. Oh, I need to start like fucking choking. Oh, I guess not. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. 
I hear the cracking of or the crackling of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. I, do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. Okay, we can chill. I'm chilling. We're 25 minutes in already. That's crazy. What do you want, though? I, I just want to lie down for a bit. Alright. Um... Really talking. <laughs> I was like thinking of something to talk about. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's just let's just chill. You know, you just want to chill. Let's just chill. I care for I carefully extract dots that are yet to be fully formed in my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly row. Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Why cockroaches? Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? That's much better. I don't mind either way. Brain power. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fly there's fireflies now, start whirling all over the ceiling in their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sound of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. Damn, I'm doing a bad job at keeping this person cheered up. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job, now start over. <laughs> no way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. <gasps> No swearing. Nuh-uh. That's a bad word. So that doesn't bother you? Should I? Or should it? Reckless, unstable behavior. I don't know. <laughs> there's like, there's a part of me that's just like, you do you for her. And then there's a part of me that's like, you gotta do this to fix yourself. I don't know which part of me wants to do what. I'm a fixer. I'm a fixer. I can fix her. <laughs> yes. I mean, and what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's. A Right as I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm calling the shots. Now it's like, I don't know, it's up to you. So I guess we're, <laughs> I guess there goes that. Uh -huh. You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyways. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. I glance 
plants around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. It can be any. What was that noise? It was like, blah. This is a boomer. <laughs> Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please, tell me you will help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing, I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... What the fuck? I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. I, what did I just do? Did you drink milk? Did he bring milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another and my eyes stop itching. I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes one after another, if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another. What have you done? I need to gather it in the class and then, and then I need to have a bath and then... <laughs> Here, drink some milk. No. What the fuck just happened? Did I just I, did I just die? Did I kill her? <laughs> what? I I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. What the fuck? Will you tell me or not? She had like a full on like aneurysm and is just like acting as if nothing happened. What the f <laughs> What is this game? I this is this is amazing. Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. My thoughts are hiding from me. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me either. I guess we have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. Even if I make the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. The room already looks like a mess, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> All of them should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything, even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. <laughs> I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. <laughs> Is that because there was like a like a prequel, not a prequel, but like this is a sequel to a previous game. So I wonder if that's the same character. <laughs> it's just breaking, breaking the fourth wall. You know, those games have moments where you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. You want to know the, what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. I start panicking as soon as I get multiple... I, as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I just keep changing my mind and end up crying in front of way. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Yeah! Let's begin already. I go into the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I was a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and its warmth claw crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie. <laughs> There's smoke coming from your clothes. Wowie. I'm so happy. That looks like a mosquito. <laughs> I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. It's time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up. Drifts up. Circles around my head for a bit and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. Ugh. That tickles? I, I don't think that's normal. One down, let's look for the others. Yeah. Oh, so we're just okay. Um, that like actually scares me. <laughs> that <laughs> that actually fucking scared me. That's so funny. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I, I don't know how long this game is, but I just want to leave it here just in case, you know. I don't want to go for like an hour and then come back and then next thing you know, like, 10 minutes. Done. Also, the save things in here, so I'm just gonna save my game. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching. This is Casty. And I'll see you later. Peace.